Alrighty, well, welcome to another Alpha Labs video. Um, I have the air conditioning on because it's like 30 degrees outside and I would die if I have to be here for 10 minutes and the power amp had a time, had a tough time as well. So I rather uh, use it in an air conditioned space right now. It's a little bit noisy. I, I, I'm sorry for that, but it's, it, I can't do it any different. In this video, I'm going to show you how we measure speaker frequency response in a speaker cable. And I have a couple of cables with me. This is an AudioQuest Slip 14.4. It's a pretty well-priced custom install cable. We have the Dryade 808 reference. We have a QED 40i, XT40i. We have a Artspeak Solid Core Silver, which is pretty old. And I have the Dryade 404. The nor 405, the normal uh, Dryade cable. So, last year I think we tested 10 loudspeaker cables and I bought a, a Sorstronic LCR for that. That can measure like conductance and uh, uh, impedance and uh, all sorts of stuff, uh, capacitance and induct and yeah, more well. Interesting stuff, but it doesn't say anything about frequency response. Uh, it, you, maybe you can uh, um, predict a little bit, but not that much. So that's why I wanted to measure the frequency response of a cable. And first I did that on a dummy load, but it doesn't work because a dummy load is like 8 ohms or 4 ohms or 2 ohms or 16 ohms and you get a flat frequency re uh, response. But it's really different from the real world where you have a loudspeaker that fluctuates in impedance and interacts with your amplifier and the cable is also an element in that and it also interacts with the speaker and the amplifier. So after the first test on a dummy load I thought yeah it doesn't say anything. I actually want to measure it on a loudspeaker and so I did and you get a very different result and it shows differences in cables. So I'm going to show you what it actually does in a real-world situation. So it, it makes some noise, I'm sorry for that. So let's start with the AudioQuest Slip 14.4. Uh, yeah, it's really annoying. <laughs> so this is not bad, it's pretty flat. I'm going to copy this one and give it a name Audio Quest SLP 14.4 Okay, that's our first one Now it's time for uh, the Dryade And as you can see That's pretty different That's a different response, especially in the treble. Now, let's see what the QED XT40i does. Oh crap, I didn't save it. <laughs> I have to do that one again. It's the end of the day, I'm getting a bit tired. Up again. Yeah, this was an old one. I remember that. Now you could see, uh, look at that and say, say nah, it doesn't make any difference. But I'll show you it does actually, because we haven't zoomed in yet. There we go. Copy it and go. It's pretty different, isn't it? That's a different response. Told you. This was the Artspeak uh, Solid Core Silver. Let's first name this one. Dryade 808. 
And the last one, this is the Triada 404, and it has half the strength of the 808s. Very different as well. Different curves, as you can see. Okay, switch this off. Now let's zoom in a little bit, up until, let's say, 40 kilohertz. And now you're starting to see what I'm talking about. It's definitely different. And this is the Driade 404. Okay, switch this one off. Uh, let's... Green is good, red is also good, 808. Uh, this blue one is not... Change it to orange. And uh, this one change to... I don't know, let's do it. Light blue. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Make it more clear. As you can see, the frequency response is definitely different. And uh, I'm not, uh, we're talking three tenths of a dB, I think. Uh, around is 45, that's 25, uh, two tenths of a dB. But uh, there are, if I had the um, Shunyata Venom, uh, it would be really different. Uh, and there are some Van der Hulls that are very different as well. So I, I've measured bigger differences than this. But if you measure the difference between the, the, the orange one, the Artspeak, and the blue one up there, that's the Driade uh, Flow 808, you could see that um, there are definitely differences in response. But the largest difference is actually, I think, the balance in, uh, in this uh, response measurement. Because the, the top here is quite the same. I mean, they're not that huge. But here, we're talking about five or six tenths of a dB. And we're measuring it at around 25 kilohertz right here. No, you don't hear it, but the harmonics you do. And if I pick this blue one, uh, this blue one, yeah, the, the, the Triade Flow 404, that's this one, or the AudioQuest Slip 14.4, that's this one, we have a 2.8, that's, that's half a dB roll-off. So the, the difference between this and this is more than, what that, that's 1.3 dB and this is only uh, 3 tenths so this is a huge difference in response between uh, this point and this point and this point and this point so the extension of these uh, audio quests is actually better than the Triade and if I pick the orange one that's the uh, Artspeak uh, it's already smaller so the high extension of the Artspeak solid core is better but overall, it uh, makes quite a it's yeah quite a wave, let's say, through the graphs. So the most stable one, I think, is the QED is pretty good. But overall, the AudioQuest Slip 14.4 is the most neutral cable in this bunch. If you look at frequency response, I'm not talking about phase or shielding or anything else but if you look purely at frequency response the audio quest is the most stable one in this bunch i'm not picking any winners in this test because it's useless to talk about winning this competition because we only looked at one element but i wanted to show you that there are differences in cables and i think this graph actually proves that so I hope you liked this episode, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time, bye bye.